Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Seven YouTube, Sweet Potatoes, and we are back again with the Sunday show. Thank you all for being patient with me. I've been away for a couple of weeks. I've been on holiday, had a bit of time out. <sighs> Glad to be back, because take it from me, it was fucking hot. Water. <laughs> Who cares? I'm back now. So, thanks for tuning in. What a week we've had with DC News getting dropped out of the sky, left, right, centre, coming all over, coming at us all over the place. We've just had San Diego Comic Con, biggest. Biggest event of the year when it comes to news and info and all your upcoming comic book movies and whatnot. So I'm going to try and cover as much as I can. It's going to be sketchy, so bear with me. I'm going to do my best for you. Now, let's just jump straight into it. I'm going to come at you with some quick bits. Hal Jordan and John Stewart confirmed as the Green Lanterns in Green Lantern Claw. The Batman. Officially titled The Batman. <clears throat> They must have been up all night coming up with that one. After a load of clickbait bullshit, Ben Affleck confirms that he's not going anywhere. Let's play a little video now and you can see, what, see for yourself. Wonder Woman 2 is confirmed. Jeff Johns himself confirms that Joss Whedon's Batgirl is filming next year. Shazam! Is the next movie being filmed in 2018. Being directed by David Sandberg, who done Lights Out, and Annabelle. Shazam's been given a release date of April 5th, 2019. So, loads of news, loads of news. Now, I'm going to go over a couple of the big bits that's really in the forefront of my mind. Everyone's been wanting to know what's been going on with the Flash movie since it's lost a couple of directors over the last year or so. Um, well, the Flash movie is, of course, still happening. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Hal Snyder and all the rest of it. It's still happening, but the title of it is simply not called The Flash anymore. They've changed it to Flashpoint. Fucking yes! Now, it's a little bit foggy for me because I haven't read slash watched it for, for, for quite some time, but I think this is like an alternate reality created by Barry Allen whereby he goes back in time to prevent the death of his mother. His success in doing so changes many other things in the process, including the outcome of the robbery of the Waynes, which in this universe is it's Bruce that gets killed instead of his parents, with his father, Thomas, then becoming... The Batman. His mother, um, the epic Martha, becoming the Joker. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who we saw in BVS as Bruce Wayne's father, is apparently up for it. With some positive Twitter response, he looks ready to don the cape and cow. Unfortunately, still no release date or a director as of yet, but give it time. Now, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was the Aquaman footage. Unfortunately, I don't think they saw it fit to be good enough for release to the general public, i.e. it's not online, you can't see it anywhere, there's no leaked footage, if there has been any leaked footage it's been quickly taken down, so uh, I've not actually seen it, but there's plenty of descriptions, so I'm going to quickly break that down for you, now there, it starts off in somewhere in the middle of the ocean, there's there's like a fisherman's boat, you know, like with a couple of guys on it, uh, apparently French, because it's beyond the sea, but played in French over the top as, as a soundtrack, um, they're fishing, and something gets caught on the line, then the camera pans up and it's just, you can see beneath the ocean, swimming underneath or travelling underneath their little boat, is just this huge underwater militia. Now apparently this militia is of Ocean Master, you know, these are, these are like the bad guys, um, they're riding sharks, 
it's just, as the camera pans out, it, they're just on bigger and bigger things. It looks really eerie underneath the water, like epic. I heard Star Wars under the ocean as one description. Then apparently the clip ends with Aquaman looking at an unseen enemy. He then turns to him and says, I suppose you want to talk about this? At which point he unsheaths his sword. Neither do I. Oh! Just sounds fucking epic, mate. Just Hopefully, give it a couple of months, let them finish off the fix so it looks pucker, right? And then they can release it online for us all to just basically sit there and jizz in our pants. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk to you today about was the fucking epic Justice League trailer that we got. It was just unrelenting. It was so much action, yet at the same time, we were stretched over four minutes. We got to see plenty of them, like, discussing things aboard maybe the Flying Fox. It was just uh, unbelievable. There's a bit in the middle of it, which may, it's, it's probably Superman, but there's a lot of chatter online about it could well be Supergirl. Who knows? Oh... The link to my trailer reaction will be in the description, so if you want to check that out. Alternatively, just head over to the channel, look up And Action Reactions playlist. Uh, there's plenty of trailer reactions on there, including yesterday's one. While you're there, look up the Sunday Show playlist and just, you know, flop out a bacon sandwich, cup of tea, and just get amongst it. And one final thing before I go, unfortunately, uh, if you're listening, you'll know exactly who this is aimed at. Unfortunately, we haven't got anything on Hawkman yet, but I'm keeping my eyes peeled. Should I hear anything? Well, there you go. I've been Sweet Potatoes. God bless you all for watching. I hope you've liked the video. If you did and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, followed by the Taco Bell button to get a little notification every time I drop a video. So, I've been Sweet Potatoes, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ooh.